Well, look, when it comes to the behaviour of Brussels of the European Union, you recently had the Polish president actually accusing the EU of blocking uh, funding, describing it as a purely political action against the previous Polish uh, government, and that it was an attempt, the Polish president said, to force Poland to change its authorities. Now, whether or not you agree with the Hungarian stance, Viktor Orban's stance on funding to Ukraine or not, the fact is Hungary uh, has used the veto it's entitled to as a member of the European Union. And you've seen the Ukrainian authorities seemingly want to work with Viktor Orban. It looks like Orban could be visiting Ukraine soon. But off the back of that veto from Ukraine blocking tens of billions of euros of funding to Ukraine, you have actually seen already, as I've highlighted here on my channel, MEPs actually demanding that Hungary is actually stripped of its voting rights. Uh, Viktor Orban responded to all of this by saying that the EU plan would essentially strip people of their rights to make decisions on their future and that if they want to help Ukraine, he wants to do it outside the EU budget and on a yearly basis with just five months to go before European elections. You had another uh, Orban party MEP there saying that the European Parliament was captured by the left, was digging the grave of the EU and the threats to suspend the voting rights of Hungary or any other member state because they disagree is pure dictatorship. Wake up Europe. Well, it appears actually that those in Brussels want to go much, much further than that because a file that's actually been seen by the Financial Times now looks at shutting off all funding uh, to Hungary, potentially sparking a run on the currency, on Hungary's currency, and driving a collapse in investor confidence as well. These are the sorts of threats. This is the sort of strategy that some in Brussels are now looking at. The EU effectively, it seems, looking to sabotage the Hungarian economy unless they go along with what those in Brussels at one in a document, the FT report in there, drawn up by EU officials, the EU would explicitly target Hungary's economic weaknesses, imperil its currency and drive a collapse in investor confidence, vowing to permanently shut off all EU funding to Budapest. And Hungary's EU minister actually responding by saying his country does not give in to pressure. Now, responding to this uh, EU plan, you've had the likes of the Bruges Group saying that EU member states should be aware that these punishment beatings won't stop with Hungary. Brussels will not hesitate to cause similar harm to others who do not subscribe to the federalist agenda. You've had Orban's political director there saying Brussels is using blackmail against Hungary like there's no tomorrow, despite the fact we have proposed a compromise, saying it's crystal clear this is blackmail and has nothing to do with the rule of law. You've also had Hungary's a Minister for European Affairs also saying that his country does not give in to blackmail and that the document drafted by Brussels bureaucrats only confirms what the Hungarian government has been saying for a long time. Access to EU funds is used for political blackmailing by Brussels. So that, it seems, is the latest uh, tactic being put forward by some in the EU, not only to potentially strip voting rights, but pretty much to try and sabotage a country, a government, until it goes along with the EU plan. Let me know what you make of that in the comments below. I will keep bringing you all the latest on this and more, of course. So please do whack this video a quick thumbs up. And of course, as ever, cheers for watching.